you know, we were happy a year ago when uh, the government presented its reform roadmap because we felt that this was actually for the first time that we had a, a, an ambitious and, and coherent reform vision and we had political conditions which made it plausible that this could be implemented. And I think we're seeing after a year on our side, frankly, that there are some implementation and credibility gaps that are emerging in this reform roadmap, and that's of concern to us. But I do think uh, the pension uh, reform is critical uh, from a macro perspective, from a sustainability perspective. I do think the reforms in the energy sector, not just the tariff increases, but also uh, increasing the, the transparency, improving the, the governance in the energy sector. Uh, one of the measures we mentioned there is EITI, uh, membership, I think, be hugely, as a signal, be hugely important for Ukraine. Uh, so that's two. Uh, the grain uh, market, um, that would make it three. The VAT refunds, that would make it four. Um, and I do think, uh, uh, actually, I think this is not something on which we've personally worked on, but I do know a lot of other people care lots about it, is these anti-corruption bills in the parliament. I think it'd be a good signal for Ukraine. I don't see anything in the bills that were originally drafted that I wouldn't support. You know, uh, there's nothing wrong with them. So if you're against corruption, why not? So uh, in conclusion, you know, one of the challenges that I see over the next year is how do we get that focus back into the reform agenda? And how do we uh, ensure that we choose, you know, a top, whatever it is, top three or top five or top 10 list of critical reform signals that will make it clear to everyone we are committed we are trying hard, we're implementing.